So we've gone ahead and built the rubber fruit and build a boat, but I'd say we should go ahead and actually awaken it. And of course, I'm not just talking about any awakening. I'm talking about gear five. Now, before we can do anything, we're actually gonna have to build a statue of an actual person, like a literal life-size replica of my body. <laughs> All right, so let's start off by taking a couple of measurements of my body. All right, so we're perfectly straightened out right now. Now, I think I'm actually pretty lucky because the actual measurements of build about parts are like, yeah, look, 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 Roblox parts are literally exactly a single stud big, dude. That is, oh, that makes my life so much easier. <laughs> yeah, okay, so that's already perfect. That one fits the, 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 oh my God, dude. That one fits the other arm perfectly. I think this one, yep, that's perfectly gonna fit the leg. That one's gonna perfectly fit the other leg. And yeah, for that reason, Actually building a build a boat armor set is not as difficult as you might imagine. Wait, why am I stuck? I am literally glued stuck. <laughs> All right, so I'm actually gonna unstuck myself. Okay, I unstuck myself. <laughs> all right, so these are like all of the different pieces of my body. Now, as you can see right now, this is looking very, very flat. So I'm actually gonna make a couple of very slight adjustments, like 0 0.1. I'm gonna just scale this in ever so slightly, and we're gonna round off the corners. Because yeah, as you can actually see, there's like a slight little taper around the actual body part. So I'm actually going to delete that. I'm just going to keep cloning this. Actually, you know what? I'm going to first finish off this actual arm and then I'm going to clone it. That makes a whole lot more sense. All right. So I actually have the measurements now of the piece that is right there. So in theory, I should actually be able to just keep doing the same thing. And that right there is what I call perfect. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just going to have to do that for every single one of these corners and then just clone it a couple times. Like, honestly, that wasn't as difficult as I thought it would be. All right. So here we have one arm and in theory, all I have to do is simply clone this. Okay. Same as for the legs. All right. There you go. Okay. That's looking pretty good. And now, okay. The only thing I'm going to have to make custom is actually going to be the chest and actually doing it. It's going to be pretty dang easy. I think all I have to do is actually just move everything over by one block. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. And I think with that, we are fully sorted. Now, uh, I'm actually not going to put all of these pieces together yet. I'm actually going to split them apart just so that things are a little easier to work on. And okay. So that's looking good. So here we have every single single one of the inv individual body parts. Now, what I'm going to do next is I'm actually going to pose every single body part individually and then later put them together. All right, so here we have the left arm. Sorry, the right arm. We're actually going to have to bend this one. So currently, it might be kind of hard to bend. So we're going to have to pretty much chop it in two. Something like so. And there he goes. Th that's the bottom part of the arm. And now we just got to have to do the same to the top. All right, so there's that. Now we just, okay, we're going to have to scale things properly. All right, and I actually ended up hating everything I did there. So I'm going to reset stars. All right, that right there looks a little bit better. Now, I am gonna make a slight adjustment, but all right, first arm finished. That's looking pretty good. It's supposed to look like... <laughs> You know what I'm talking about? I think it's looking pretty good. So next up, the torso. Now the torso is actually going to be quite easy because all it needs is just a very slight bend. All right, move that back. There you go. All right, so all I should have to do is simply rotate this one just a very slight bit. Like, just like that should be fine. And only the bottom half is bent, so get rid of the top. All right, perfect. All we got to do is just fix up the gap in the back. Oh, and there it is. Okay, perfect. Just very slight, but just wait. That way it doesn't just, it just doesn't look super static, you know? He's got to look alive. <laughs> <laughs> All right, perfect. All right, now luckily for the for the other arm, we can actually use our previous arm. So I'm just literally gonna clone this. And you know what? One of the legs is pretty much just bent like that. Now, uh, I don't know if you guys knew this, but we can just simply clone this leg one more time. All we gotta do is rotate it the other way around. Okay, actually, you know what? That doesn't look quite right. I, I do need to make a separate leg. <laughs> All right, now the dimensions are getting a little bit messed up right now, but it's freaking Luffy. You know, he's made of rubber, okay? Uh, it's... it's if something is off, it's not the end of the world. All right. And luckily, the other leg just needs to be straight. So I think we now actually have all of the pieces together to pull this thing off. <laughs> all right. Now we got to start off by actually creating like the base layer for like the actual character. So right here, we're going to just paint everything in like the bottom color, which for a human being is actually like just skin color. <laughs> wow. What a great time to realize that I actually don't really like that skin color. I want to use that instead. <laughs> uh, well, time to time, time to repaint. All right, now let's start off with the actual jacket, which I think is probably going to be the easiest part. All right, there it is. Now, I don't know if I can just paint this pure white because, you know, it needs to look right. So actually this right... Oh, you know what? This actually looks perfect. So it's not pure white. It's the one left from it because anything pure white, it just has no detail at all. And so, yeah, you, you want to have at least a little bit of that detail. And I think that right there actually looks really good, dude. Dude, it looks freaking awesome. All right, well, that leaves us with the next body part. Oh, God. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, I didn't realize that I forgot to do the back. Okay, let me do the back real quick. All right, so there we have the jacket. Now, actually, I think I could just simply delete this arm right here and just copy the one from the other side because it's, for, for at least for now, the exact same thing. Abaraboom. All right, now for the legs. This is where things are going to get a little bit more complicated. <laughs> now, I've noticed that one of these legs is significantly longer than the other. I might want to fix that. <laughs> yeah, actually, you know what? I am going to fix that because it looks really weird. Yeah, okay, that's looking a little bit better. So it's still a little bit longer than the other, but not by like a crazy amount. <laughs> Maybe even shorter. Yeah, I'm even going to shorten it more. It still looks weird. Yeah, okay, th that's looking a little bit better, I think. Yeah, I think that's better. <laughs> All right, now real quick before I do anything, I'm going to add in this like purple belt. <laughs> oh yeah, dude. Okay, that's looking good. All right, that's looking pretty good. Uh, now for, uh, we got to put some pants on him. <laughs> so I think it's just kind of the same as before. We're just going to have to add like white pants. All right, so now that we have all of the pieces finished, I think it's about time that we put the whole thing together. <laughs> now, I'm actually going to make sure to clone this whole thing because if I mess it up, dude, building that took forever, man. Okay, so we now want to pose the character and actually doing this isn't going to be super easy. So we're going to just rotate things, which is very slight amount. So we're going to start off with the torso right here. That looks actually just about perfect. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, that looks just about perfect. All right, then next up, next arm. So this one needs to kind of... <laughs> Go over the head. Right, this one's just going to take a lot of finagling. Right, so that one's kind of like going over to the head right now. Okay. Move it aside. Okay, next arm. All right, the next up. So the arms are done. We just got to do the legs. So this one is kind of just dangling over like so. Right, we just got to position it right. All right, and this other one is supposed to just pretty much be sticking straight up. All right, so now that we have it, let's try putting everything together. Now, I've got a feeling it's not going to quite be perfect, but it should be pretty dang close. All right, there it is. And dude, you know what? That is actually actually looking really good. <laughs> Now, I kind of want to move a couple of things, but really, this is pretty much perfect. I just want to add a little bit of rotation to it, just so that it's a little bit more alive. Now, one thing that we're going to have to make sure of is that pretty much we can bring all of these different body parts back together, because if we want to add any kind of animation, I mean, we're just simply going to have to. So I specifically made sure that every single one of these body parts is 10 studs away. So now if I said two pistons to... Wait, can I, can I, can I just send one piston to 10 studs? Wait, I'm being stupid. <laughs> it's 10. Yeah, I can just... I mean... An idiot, but uh, yeah, if I just set a single piston to 10 studs, if I now actually unanchor this here and move it back, it should exactly end up in the spot I needed it. As you guys can see right there, that's the perfect spot. So I'm gonna have to do that for every single one of the body parts and everything should come together perfectly. All right, now this all looks very random, but trust me, it is pretty much moving every single block 10 studs into the right direction. So all I should have to do, I mean, these guys are all pretty much already stuck together. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna glue everything together like that. I mean, it should be fine. Now, when I select all and I uh, and I grab everything but the body, okay, every single piece, yes, sir, perfectly moves into place. Oh, that looks so good. <laughs> all right, now for the actual floating mechanic, I think I'm still gonna use a piston, but just one that's facing downwards, and I'm gonna set the piston length to like maybe not even one block, like point. Actually, one is the smallest. Okay, one block, and then literally the slowest possible speed. And I think as long as I add a block on the end, I think that should be fine. All right, now for the head, and you guys might. I've already thought of this. I'm actually going to play things a little bit clever. I'm actually going to just simply use my own head and I'm going to try to remove pretty much the entire rest of my body. All right, here we go. We've got a couple of options. Now, I could have also gone ahead and actually grabbed some of those, but I didn't want to do that. I thought it would have been too boring. So I'm going to grab, I think I got to grab the hair. And apparently I already own the face. <laughs> and with that, we get this abomination right here. Now, I actually grabbed like the Billy avatar because I mean, it's just simply very, very small. And I think if I actually go ahead, place a small candy. Yeah. Uh, in the settings, you can actually set like the different sizes for things. So head regular size, the rest of the body small. Oh, but that also shrinks the effect. No! Okay, now, I think that is still all right, though. I think I'm just gonna get rid of the effect, though. All right, now, okay, so I've actually put on what is pretty much known to be, like, the smallest character you can create. Now, I just wanted to see what happens if I, with this, eat the small candy. All right. Micro, baby! Oh, now, that is really small. Okay, you know what? I think that is actually... Dude, look at the walking animation. It's just me jittering. <laughs> 
Okay, now I gotta place the head perfectly, so I'm gonna have to go like there. Okay, that is way off. All right, now that right there is looking pretty much perfect. And the main reason it's perfect, because look at that. You literally cannot even see my body in there. <laughs> All right, now I don't know if I love the effects that I've added. The, the one right there actually kind of looks bad. <laughs> so yeah, I think instead I'm just simply gonna go ahead and build the smoke ring. All right, so here is angry little Luffy. <laughs> All right, now I think all we're gonna have to do is put everything together. All right, we got the delay blocks. All we should have to do is flick this lever right here and everything should go perfectly. Oh, look, here we're sitting. All right, we're gonna place a cake so that we're actually stuck. But we gotta make it transparent. Unanchor everything, okay. Flick the lever! Wait, no, my head! What is my head doing? It's always... What if I place a block? All right, Houston, we have a problem. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to adjust adjust for the head just being broken. <laughs> All right, I think I got it fixed. Okay, now uh, things are a little goofy right now. Uh, I actually forgot to hide these. <laughs> Come on, here we go! Yes! No, wait, why am I sitting so straight up? Wait, why am I sitting straight up? Dude, we're... <laughs> Dude, we're freaking Luffy. And man, you can't even see any of the body parts. Now, the trick right here is actually a glue block right there. So rather than using a cake, I'm using a glue block. And dude, it's, it works perfectly, man. Oh my God. Now, who would have ever thought that an invisible pair of wings actually doesn't even look weird because of the smoke effects? You just gotta make it invisible. and You can only get the wings, man. Dude, this is amazing. <laughs> oh my God. Now this is the real battle. Luffy versus a bread tank. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Is this his lever? Can I click it? Come on. I got to click it. I got to click it. I clicked it. Yes, I broke his tank. <laughs> wait, what? Ah! Wait, they clicked my leg. Why? All right, I got my leg back. <laughs> There you go. That looks a little better. Oh, I wonder how this looks. You know, what if I just grab one of these big old cannons? Oh my god! Yes! Can I still fire it? Yeah! <laughs> wait, it actually makes me slide! Dude, let's go! Okay, wait, that's actually amazing. Luffy is just carrying a bazooka on his back, guys. <laughs> how about a boom? <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, 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 oh. Bro, the, the tank is coming. Bro, the tank just zoomed away. Dude, can I snipe it? Can I snipe it? Okay, just stop driving for a second. About a boom! Oh! Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. I'm on my side. Why am I on my side? Why am I on my side? Oh, my God. I only just barely made it. <laughs> Dude, this tank is trying to get me. This tank is trying to get me. I'm on a boom! Oh, uh oh <laughs> He just rammed into me. Oh, wait, we actually... <laughs> Dude, I just zoinked off his head. <laughs> he just he just got his head ripped off. And one thing I wonder what's gonna happen if I about up about a boom! <laughs> Dude, you can actually launch yourself with the cannon, man. Well guys, I think it's safe to say that we've awakened the rubber fruit. <laughs> Azoom! Oh, I almost got him. 